Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we are going to disassemble this Ronson Triumph and try to ascertain exactly why it is not sparking. We're going to start by removing our flint spring screw. It's an interesting, I think, transitional piece for Ronson from the typical mechanisms that we are all used to and so familiar with to the twist bottom access that appeared sometime around the mid 1950s. I believe the first appearance was 1954. So we are going to go ahead, since we got our flint spring removed, and disassemble the actuating mechanism. This is a mismatched or mix-matched snuffer as it is chrome and nothing else on the lighter is chrome. Although it does appear that maybe it was previously chrome that has been worn off. Fulcrum cap just fell out the back side there. Get our fulcrum screw pushed out of here. was a very sloppy mechanism that was not sparking at all and I have a feeling that perhaps it has been put back together incorrectly we got the gear there gear there those look fine and we pull our file wheel with the clutch spring out anybody who is experienced at all is going to see that that is backward no wonder it wasn't sparking so we'll get this put back together the proper way now see if we have better fortunes. Okay, so mechanism all together. Everything goes down. Okay, now that goes all the way through. We will get our
fulcrum cap back on. and tighten down so we had managed to groove the flint I believe that was new when I put it in there perhaps not there's no telling The 1954 lighter repair manual instructs that if you need help getting the flint grooved, if it's too tight, to use your finger to assist the snuffer up to get that all working in the right direction. And once you get the groove, then it should snap up. This particular mechanism still needs some work. It's kind of gummy feeling. So as I said, still plenty of work that needs to be done on this one. Still need to wick it. Still need to get the mechanism working where it will actually spark but we do now have the mechanism back in there in the right order so this just goes to show you this was a lighter that my mother had picked up for me and had been floating around here for I don't know it might have been a year now and um, I believe she bought them at a it was in a group of lighters that she bought at a vintage mall that kind of thing for just a few dollars or so now this lighter just on the surface obviously is not all original because the snuffer doesn't match so that would give you your first clue that somebody had worked on it but then your second clue would certainly be the clutch spring being in there backward like it was but We've now got it in in the right order. Plenty of work left to do on this lighter. Until next time.